My name is Ahmad Nasrul Nasri bin Ahmad Fuzi. Hi, my name is Muhammad Ali Iqbal bin Aziz Abdul Dawus. Hi everyone, my name is Nashah Zanali bin Tisharif Karani. Differentiation is a process of finding a function that output the rate of change of one variable with respect to another variable. To find the maximum or minimum value of a function, we would usually draw the graph in order to see the shape of the curve. Now, using our knowledge from differentiation, we can find this greatest and least value of a function without plotting the graph in the given interval. So, I'm going to share about optimization. Optimization is used to find the greatest or least values a function can take. This can involve creating the expression first, also find the rate of change by differentiate, then substitute. A container in the shape of a cuboid is to be made from 48 meters squared of sheet metal. The container has a horizontal base and a top with a width of 2x meters. The length of the opposite's vertical faces is x meters and the height of the container is h meters. So in this video, we're going to find the height in terms of x, the volume in terms of x, and lastly, the maximum or minimum volume of the container and justify it. Okay, so we already know the area of the cubic container is 48, so we can write as, so the first one is this side, okay? This side, and this side. Sorry, this is x, h, and 2x. So we can write it down, right? Okay, this is, we have two faces. So two times h times x is h x and then plus this one this one we already shape and this is for this side okay okay plus we have two faces two and times this is 2x times h so 2 times 2 h x plus okay the lead and the base okay this is x and this is 2x so we have two faces 2 2 times 2x square this is all equal to 48 okay we can simplify this 2 times hx is 2 hx plus 2 times 2hx is 4hx okay and 2 times 2x square is 4x square is equal to 48 okay and we have 2hx here and we can add this to 6hx plus 4x square is equal to 48 okay we can simplify this into the simplest form so i divided all this uh, into two so six divided by two is three h x plus four divided by two is two x square and 48 divided by two is 24 okay so we can so the first question mm, asks you to find h in terms of x and you can write it like 3 h x is equal to 24 minus 2 x square and we get the h equal to 24 minus 2 x square is divided by the x we know that volume is h times x times 2x okay so we already have h here we substitute in here 
24 minus 2x squared by 3x times x times 2x okay so you can cancel x here and here and i will multiply all this with 2x 48 x minus 4x to the power of 3 divided by 3 is what we can what it gonna look like so this is the volume in terms of x based from the previous question we know that the volume is 48x minus 4x cubed divided by 3 it is also equivalent to 16x minus 4 third x cubed to find the maximum or minimum volume of the container we need to differentiate the volume to find the value of x which is to solve dvdx equals to 0 so to calculate dvdx we'll get 16 minus 4 third times 3 times x squared and the answer is 16 minus 4x squared next solving 16 minus 4x squared equals to 0 we'll get x squared equals to 4 and lastly x equal to plus minus 2 because we know that x is the length of the container therefore it should be positive hence x equals to 2 since the question is asking for the maximum or minimum volume, we will substitute the value of x into 16x minus 4 third x cubed and the answer is 21.33 meter cubed. Lastly, the question asks to justify it. Therefore, we will differentiate the volume for the second time and d2v dx squared is negative 8x and we will again substitute the value of x into it and the final answer is negative 16. Therefore, volume is maximum. Now, I will be talking about the advantage of this calculation and benefit to the people around the world. In this case, I will be focusing on the, onto the production industry. The advantage of this calculation is, we can maximize the profit that can be earned of inside the company by reducing the cost of production and saving the cost. Beside me, by reducing the cost of production and still maintaining the speed, quality and efficiency of the production, the company can maximize the profit and earn more money. Not only that, this calculation also can calculate the least or maximum amount of material needed to create a particular object such as a rectangular object or cylinder object and calculate the maximum or minimum volume that can be put inside a particular object. For an example, in a drink can production company, the company can determine the minimum amount of material needed to create one drink can that can hold 200 milliliters of water. In this way, the company can maximize their profit by reducing the cost of production and utilize, utilize the material that they have efficiently and did not waste any material that they have. For another example, as, as stated in the problem statement, the shipping container, we can determine the volume, the maximum volume of the shipping container just by having its surface area.